everyone, so today's video is something a little bit different. Um, if you watch videos regularly on this channel, you'll know that I'm a subscriber of the Like Forever Scrapbook Kit Club, and I love that scrapbook kit. It is a UK-based kit, there's no commitment, there's no cancellation fee. I talk about it all the time, I absolutely love it. Um, and through the Facebook community for that kit, I've been lucky enough to meet some lovely ladies, um, one of whom contacted me recently to ask if I wanted to do a little collaboration. A lovely girl called Emma contacted me and asked if I wanted to do a little challenge with the July Dream Big scrapbook kit. Um, I will leave her link in the description below so that you can go and watch her video. They should be going up at around the same time so it should be there ready for you to watch. Um, but basically we challenged each other to use the balloon paper from the kit which is from Pink Fresh Studios Happy Things collection. I can't remember the proper name of the kit. Um, but we challenged each other to use that and we wanted to see how different our layouts would be. So unfortunately I have a ton of commitments at the moment with my new job and I'm going on holiday on Monday and I haven't been very well and it's all been a bit crazy. So I didn't get a chance to actually film a process video for this because I do all of my scrapbooking quite late at night these days. But I thought I would do a little layout share and just explain to you the products I used and what I did and yeah, let's get into the layout. So this page is kind of the um, introduction to my brother's birthday celebration pages in my scrapbooks and so the balloon paper was absolutely perfect and I really wanted to keep it simple so I just used um, the black cardstock that came in the kit to create a really thin mat around my photo and then I used some of the, um, I can't think what they're called, they're like big thicker words um, from Pink, Pink Fresh Studios and they say happy things and lovely. I picked the celebrate one obviously for my brother's birthday and I used um, another one of them or two of them down on the balloons themselves. These little bows came in the pack and I didn't know where else I would use them but I thought they looked so cute on the balloons. And as you can see, I also put the number 14 in that little mint coloured balloon because it was my brother's 14th birthday. So it just made sense. <laughs> I also used some puffy stickers. Um, I purchased the puffy stickers as an add-on. Um, I just thought they were a really cute little touch and they just added that little bit of extra something that was missing. Um, I really love that mint arrow. I wish I had bought more of the puffy stickers because they're just absolutely adorable and that gold heart is so cute as well. So I also added some mist to the layout. Um, you can't really see it very well. It's the Heidi Swap Colour Shine in blush. I almost called it Heidi Shine because that's what Adele from Inky Quill calls it and now it's just Heidi Shine in my head. Um, but yeah. I added some of that and it was my first time ever using mist and it kind of went completely wrong but thankfully because it's such a light pink you can't really notice it. So yeah that is my layout, I've included some photos so that you can see close ups in better lighting because I had to film this video first thing this morning. Do make sure you go and check out Emma's video, like I said I'll leave it in the description below. I hope you are having a lovely day and if you have any questions do let me know. Go and check out Like Forever because it's a great scrapbook kit and yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.